What's going on you guys? My name is Zach Hartley and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to short a stock in Quest Trade IQ Edge. Here is everything you need to know. Let's go. Okay, so here is my Quest Trade IQ Edge. I currently have three windows open right now. The first one is my chart. We're currently looking at Ford Motor Company. We have the candlesticks here with a 20 and 50 day moving average. We've got the volume, we've got a MACD and an RSI. So a fairly simple chart right here. My other two windows are our order entry window and our order summary window. This is set to the orders tab so that we can see what our most recent orders are as we put them in for this example. And so fairly simple setup. Now, one thing I wanna point out is you need to make sure that these little chain links are all set to the exact same color. That way, if instead you change your chart to Apple instead of Ford, it will change your order entry. And that way you can make sure you're always getting in and out of the right stock. So just kind of a general rule of thumb there. Now, in order to short a stock, you need to make sure that you understand the risk. If you short a stock, you're trying to make money when the stock goes down. But if the stock goes up, that's your risk. And if the stock goes up dramatically, your risk can be higher than the money that you put into it, meaning you can lose more money than the amount that you put into it and you can actually owe money. So make sure that you understand that before we get into shorting. If you're interested in learning about it, definitely check out my channel, but let's get right into it. So right now we are looking at Ford Motor Company on a one day candle over six months. We are gonna zoom into one day, one minute. And so this is exactly what is happening right now. And as you can see here, so let's just do a little bit of technical analysis. We are gonna draw a little bit of just kind of support and resistance where we see our clear levels. And as you can see, we've got we've got some trend lines forming right now. And it looks like we've got some pretty major resistance right around 1170. And so what we are gonna do here is zoom in just a little bit and we are gonna take a short position. Who knows if it's gonna break through, it might fall back down, it might get rejected here at 1170 again. Let's say that that's our hypothesis. That's what we think is going to happen for this example. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna go to our order entry form here and we're gonna make sure that we are trading the correct stock. Make Always make sure that you're buying and selling the right thing. And then what we're gonna do, we're just gonna make a small trade here for 10 shares and we're gonna first enter in a market order. This is gonna be the simplest way to short a stock. If you just wanna get in right away, you don't really care what the price is because it's moving really quick and you just wanna get in and go short right away, you are going to place a market order. We're gonna keep it open for the day because we're gonna get in and out of these pretty quick. You're gonna leave the route at auto, you're gonna leave the sub route blank and the account, you just need to choose whichever one. I'm probably gonna black this out so that you guys stop hacking me. And then all you're gonna do is click on the sell button. Now I know you don't have any shares right now, so how can you sell them? Well, when you short a stock, you're borrowing those shares from Quest Trade. you're going into the market and you're selling them and you're basically holding on to that money. Then to go out of that position, you then have to go back into the market and buy those shares and when you buy them they will get automatically returned to quest trade and that's how you short the stock so what we're going to do is click on sell and it's going to give me a little pop-up window i don't think you'll be able to see it on the recording but you might be able to and you're going to click on send order and what it's going to do is it is going to sell those shares for you so now what i've done is i've borrowed the shares from quest trade and i've sold them into the market at market price it just executed at whatever the next person was willing to pay and now we are officially short 10 shares of Ford. And now to exit this position, let's say the stock has kind of take, taken its course and it's either dropped or you're wrong on the position, it doesn't matter. The only way to exit this position is to buy those shares back from the market and then they will automatically get returned to Quest Trade. So we're pretty much break even. The stock hasn't really done anything yet. Let's just say we got in too early, we made a mistake and we want to get out of it right away. Well, the best way to do that is to again use a market order and all you're going to do is you're going to place the exact same number of shares because you're short 10 shares right now we need to buy 10 shares to cover you're going to click on the buy button it's going to give you another pop-up window and you're going to need to click on send order and then as you can see the notification now says buy to cover that's going to be really nice because that's your confirmation that you are buying the shares back from your short position and automatically returning them to quest trade that's what we wanted to see and that is the easiest simplest and quickest way to short a position is to use a market order and just click the sell button, confirm the transaction, and then when you're ready to exit the position, you use a market order again and you buy that exact same amount of shares back and that will basically complete the transaction that will be your short entry and your short exit. Now, let's say that you don't wanna use a market order because you wanna wait for the actual security to fall through support. Well, the best way to do that is to use a stop order. So in this example, we're currently trading right around 1169 right now, 1169.73. 
And so what we are going to do is we want to go short on the stock when it falls through support. Let's call support 1167 right here. So when the stock falls through 1167, that's when we want to go short on this. And so what we're going to do is instead of using a market order, we are going to use a stop order. And what that's going to do is it's going to get us in when the price falls below a certain level. It's going to put us short on that position when the price falls below a certain level. And for us, that level is going to be 11.67. We are going to set it for another day duration. We're going to leave the route at auto. You're going to choose your account and then you're going to click on sell. It's going to ask you for another confirmation here. You are going to click on send order and it is going to give you this line here. And this line represents the level at which your order is placed. And so as soon as the stock price falls below that line, it is going to try and fill your order with your short position. At that point, when it fills your order, you will then be short for 10 shares in this instance and what's really nice about quest trade is that with this line here when you change your kind of mouse to pointer you can actually move this line up and down so you can see i just moved it to 1167 and i can move it back up as well if i wanted to so that's really really nice and it's kind of handy especially if you want to be moving these very often Okay, so it's a couple minutes later and as you can see the price is still getting rejected right here around 1170 it hasn't been able to break through yet we will see if this holds but as of right now we do have a sell short at 1167 I'm going to cancel this and I'm actually going to move it up a little bit higher so instead of 1167 let's set it at 11.69 so that way we know that we're probably going to get filled here in the next few minutes. Okay, so as you can see, our line now is right underneath the price. We're currently trading at 1169, pretty much on the dot. So if it falls at all, we are probably going to get filled here. And then I will be able to show you exactly how to exit this trade. So here's our line right now. Here's our sale line. Here's the price. Oh, we're green. We're going back up. If it, if it breaks through 1170, obviously this order isn't going to fill. But if it falls below 1169 for even just a second, it's going to fill. And then I'll be able to show you exactly how to get out of this position as well. And so I'm going to just delete this trend line here. And we're going to see what happens to the price over the next few minutes. Market's closing in about 17 minutes though. So it should Good. We're either going to see a, a pop higher or I think we're going to see a short sell off here in the next few minutes, but it should be very interesting. Our our order is at 1169 and the price is currently between 11695 and 1170. So we are right on the brink of getting filled right now. Oh, she's she's staying within this channel of like literally one cent between 1169 and 1170. It's pretty much stayed in there for a few minutes now. So we will see what happens here. See if it breaks through 1170 volume is declining which is not a good sign you can see we had these two massive green bars right here and we were still unable to break through 1170 you could be looking at level two right now to kind of see what the order stack is like right now but i'm trying to keep it as simple as i can level two is something that will basically show you where the orders are stacked and how many people are willing to sell at 1170 because if there's just a whale sitting at 1170 that's selling like 5 million shares you're never going to break through 1170 no matter how many people are buying in the next few oh we just broke through so obviously that's not the case or we had a little breakthrough there. But like if there was a whale or a billionaire or Warren Buffett sitting at 1170 just trying to clear shares, we might never actually um, be able to break through 1170. And so that's that's what level two can help you identify. Okay. Okay, so the stock is breaking out right now. It is starting to see a little bit of resistance at another all-time high right here. So let's take a short position in it right now and I will show you how to get out when the stock price falls. So what we are gonna do is we're gonna go short on 10 shares right now. We're gonna accept that. Now I'm into the position. And so what we wanna do is try and take profit. Let's say the stock comes back down. How do we put a level in there where we are gonna take profit? Instead of entering the position, we wanna put a level in to take profit. And the way we are gonna do that is with a limit order. And so what we're gonna do is change from market to a limit order and then what we're going to do is put in the level at which we want to get out so currently we're trading at 1172 let's say we want to get out at 1170 what we're going to do is just go 11.70 
and we are going to click on buy. That is going to basically give us the symbol that says buy to cover. You're going to click on send order. And as you can see, now we have another line here, but this time it is green. Because it's green, that means that we are going to buy. And because we are short on the position, it's going to be a buy to cover. And so if the price comes back down, to this level right here, it's going to fall below my basically take profit level, which I am setting using a limit order, and it's going to lock in my profits here. And so if the price continues to run, we're gonna lose even more money on this example. But if the price comes right back down and it crosses through this level here, I will take my two cent profit per share and so in summary, you can enter into a short by getting in and out with a market order. That's going to be the simplest and quickest way to do it. But you can also get into the position when the price falls below a certain level by using a stop order. And you can take profit on that position by using a limit order on the downside. The limit order is what I have placed right now. And the stop order is what I showed you an example of about a minute or two ago. And so this is how you short stocks in Quest Trade IQ Edge. If you're interested in learning more about this, definitely check out the links in the description to this video. I have an entire course as well as $50 credit in free commissions when you sign up for an account with Quest Trade. I highly recommend you check out those links. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Thank you so much for uh, supporting me and I will see you guys in the next video. Good luck trading, good luck investing, and we'll talk to you soon.